to, I said it to firm like my abs. They're firm it like your abs, baby? Yeah. Okay. We are Ashley and Josh, a couple that fell in love despite the odds. As you know, life can be so unexpected, but we vlog the good and the bad to document our journey. So come along as we figure things out together. Good morning, fam. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, I did not think I was going to be vlogging today, so I didn't bring my vlogging camera. But me and Hunter have been out and about running our little errands. And then I decided, you know what? I haven't bought myself anything in such a long time. So I called Dominique and he originally didn't answer this morning. And he just called me back. And I was sitting in front of Marshall's waiting for them to open. Because they opened about five minutes and when he called me back he was like you know what i wanted to go to marshall's but not the one that you're at <laughs> so we're going to drive to chesapeake because they have um a little area where there's the marshall's ross tj maxx and they're all kind of owned by the same people but their stuff is a little bit different and i wouldn't mind going in there to find a couple things i need to get some home stuff and then of course like i said i need to get some clothes because i haven't bought myself anything in such a long time i need some pants i need some workout clothes some shirts stuff like that so hopefully i can find all of that there if not we, we might be able to go to the mall or something hunter probably can't see him in his little mirror right there but he is knocked out it's not almost 9 30 now 27 and you know his his first nap time is at nine o'clock so he snoops in he snoops in he actually went to bed a little bit earlier went to sleep a little bit earlier than that around 8 45 but yeah, it's good it's good that he just he can put himself to sleep i'm very grateful for that but anywho i get to see dominique i'm so excited i haven't seen my boo in so long and i miss him i truly do he's my best friend in the whole wide world and i've known him since ooh, was it elementary school no middle middle school sixth grade i met him on the first day of sixth grade and we have been thick as thieves you understand me but anywho let me call him i'm about to pull up oh that's my mama calling me. <laughs> that sounds scary. I don't know if you can hear that, but let me hang up with y'all and talk to my mother. <laughs> Say hey. Hey, people. <laughs> we haven't seen Dominique in what? How long? How long has it been now? Since before I was pregnant? Oh, no. Since I was pregnant. I've seen you. We just haven't been out. But I've seen you. What about with, with Hunter? No, not with Hunter. Yeah. But that's right, because he um, dropped off Hunter's very first outfit <laughs> and my christmas gift and stuff like that so mm -hmm. we came over here to go to marshall's but marshall's is apparently closed they're gonna they're re um relocating so now we're just going to ross and tj max so we'll see how this goes i was looking forward to marshall's though maybe having everything i need right i got hunter in the background talking up a storm he just had an explosive type of situation happen. Right after I had just changed him, I'm really glad that I thought to bring, really? Oh, he's, he's out. He's not happy. Oh, he wants to move. I'm, I'm glad I thought to bring an extra outfit because we would have been in a world of trouble. Dominique has not experienced, oops, he has not tried, he has not experienced it as of yet, but it was a bit much. Um. There we go. I did get something from Ross, some stuff for the house or whatever. Definitely didn't go in there to get that, but we needed some extra mats for the house and stuff. We need to go get something to eat because neither one of us has eaten this morning. And then we can go to another Marshalls, I guess.
Good morning, everyone. I have to speak in kind of a soft tone since Hunter is over there sleeping, but I left you kind of abruptly yesterday. Me and Dominique ended up going to another uh, Marshalls, and just like true form, someone who hasn't bought themselves anything forever, um, I was in there trying to buy out the whole store. So <laughs> I bought a little bit of everything. I bought some gym clothes because I need some more gym clothes. Every time I go to the gym, I'm in the same stuff. Got some more shirts, got some more pants. Um, got some stuff in the kitchen and upstairs and stuff like that. Thankfully, mom had given me gift certificate uh, for Mother's Day along with the other things that she had gotten me. So I used that towards my Marshalls bill. I'm super grateful about that because like I said, I was in there just putting stuff in the bag. Like, throw it in the bag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> After that, I dropped Dominique off and me and Hunter came home. We straightened up a little bit upstairs. Josh came home and then we went to this restaurant on 42nd Street down the ocean front called Tulu, which, oh my gosh, their food was so delicious. Hunter did really well. There was no crying or anything like that. We decided not to take his car seat in there with us because he likes to get out of the car seat. If we would have kept him in there, he would have just gone ham, like crying all over the place. So me and Josh took turns holding him while each of us ate, you know, parent things. <laughs> and then we came home and went to sleep, no lie, around eight o'clock. We were all dead to the world. So this morning, Josh just got up. He went to get some juice because he's gonna cook breakfast. Today is the first day that he has not had a day off in three weeks. So he's been working every day um, up until today. And super grateful that he got up this morning to go to the grocery store. He said we didn't have any juices, which I completely forgot yesterday when I went to the when I went to Sam's Club. Uh, I bought everything else though. And what else? I think today's just gonna be another family day. I'm gonna try to clean up some more because when I was at Marshall's, and then we had to went to Ross before that too, but, but when I went to Ross and Marshall's, I got some other stuff for the kitchen and then other stuff for our closets and stuff like that. And then I have another package being delivered from Amazon today for additional storage. And every time I get my organizational items in, that just makes me more motivated to get stuff done. So lately my weekends have been dedicated to nothing but cleaning up. And that's okay because I enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? But anyhow, I'm gonna get to that and then we'll check in a little bit later. All right, fam. So I made a lot of progress today with as, as far as cleaning. Yeah. Even though Josh has brought in all this grass and stuff on the floor, you and the dogs. Mud and grass from outside, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Just wet. Yeah, I need to put one of them turbo things on the um, counter. Every year around this time, we get these baby ants in here. You need to get the shit. Need to get the spray. I know, but I can't get the sprays because because of the dogs. I mean, I mean, I'll call the terminator there's, people. There's certain sprays that they can use that can infect dogs and babies. Well, I can call. I'll call. Dad, I, it's not dad, expensive. My dad had those people come to the house to do this. He did the outside, and inside. I how much he said he cost. I'm gonna lay out with that. That's not bad. So I'll call. I'll call now. Investigate. But anywho, I got a lot of progress, a lot of stuff done today. Um, these storage things just came that I want to use as well because we need. We don't have any space in here. Me and Josh just have way too much stuff and then put Hunter stuff on top of that and then the dog stuff on top of that. I said Josh, I don't have shit. You have a lot of stuff. You have a lot of, look at you just drop, look at you just dropping stuff. Oh, I cleaned out the pantry too, which it needed. Um, but anywho, got these, I'm gonna put my cleaning supplies in this and then put it on the back of the door and stuff like that. I got one for upstairs, one for downstairs. But um, what else? Oh, Josh, I think he's funny. Trying to scare me and stuff. I mean, do y'all have to deal with that? Okay, Josh likes to scare people. He thinks it's funny, but all I gotta say is don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep because I'm gonna get you back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you back, boom. We can play games. When you least expect it, I'm gonna get you. When you least expect it, okay? Mm-hmm. Anywho, 
Josh is about to put some sticks in the grill. We doing asparagus and corn with that. And that rice. And rice. And rice? Oh yeah. The rice you said you were gonna make. Then you go ahead and put that in the rice cooker. And Hunter is gonna have his last bit of sweet potatoes. He's on sweet potatoes now. Can I show you guys which we went to sweet potatoes? I'm not sure. But we went to strawberries that he absolutely loves, okay? Bananas and then, first, right? yeah, it was bananas first, carrots, strawberries, now sweet potatoes. He's, I wouldn't say he's a big fan of sweet potatoes. It's, it's okay, I guess. But his favorite, I think, are the fruits, the, the bananas and the strawberries. And in the food, the baby food book that I bought, they said to freeze the stuff, free, freeze the food that you make and in little ice cube trays. And that's what I've done. So I have these frozen, these are sweet potatoes, and they're good for three months. And then of course I have the strawberries and because he's teething, we'll give him these strawberry ice cubes and he loves that. Don't pull mommy's hair. And look, y'all seeing the other, the other freezer. This is the kitchen freezer now. Starting to be overrun by breast milk. But I was telling Josh that because of the Similac um, shortage, I was thinking about donating more. I was gonna put it on Facebook to see if anybody I knew wanted or needed some breast milk, but Josh said that was weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate it to a breast milk bank. Hmm. Because you don't drink it, huh? Not like you're supposed to. He, he just prefers being breastfed, which I, I hope <laughs> he will take the bottle because it's becoming a problem. You know what I mean? Anywho, I'm just checking in. Josh is over here seasoning the sticks. Bam. What do you normally put in your steaks, babe? What, what'd you say about my mom? I didn't say anything. What'd you say? What'd you say? I didn't say anything. I said, <laughs> I put <laughs> Kinder's Butterhouse Steakhouse over there. What, what is that? I, I um, actually never seen it. Uh, I, put, I, I use that and then I use uh, some Weber stuff, take and chop or uh, the Montreal that? seasoning, you know, basic, basic stuff, ain't nothing special. Steak and chop seasoning. Nothing special. I don't know, whatever he does, it <laughs> Uh-huh. Delicious? Yeah. Salt pepper. Bless you. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. All right. So we'll check in. C R I B B S pink. Pips pink pink. I thought that was like a pink lady. I don't know. What, what do you put the baby there? Up there. I don't remember if we vlogged or not, or where we last um, spoke to you guys, but. Today, Hunter is moving on to apples. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be, if I'm gonna feed him any apples tonight because it's already late. The last time, the last time the we vlog was uh, we were cooking steaks. So that yeah, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> unless you unless you just talk to me like you were, you were vlogging you were doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of creeper. The, the day is running together. But anyway. Um, Josh got some apples. The apple that Josh got, he doesn't know what it's called, but it's, it's called. Uh, crisp. It said, it's on the thing, it says C R I B B S pink. I don't know if that was an abbreviation for another thing, and the next word was pink. <laughs> I, I had to think really hard on that, but anyway. So I was like, get one or two apples, you know, one or two apples. I, I get over here and I'm tasting the apple to see if it's sweet or not from this apple bomb. <laughs> I'm over here eating the baby apple. <laughs> eating the baby apple. You got, man, you got mangoes too. Yeah, you want to do one at a time Yeah, because uh, mangoes are one of the... You need to cut it up and freeze it though. It's probably going to be good. I'll probably make the, the mangoes tomorrow and freeze them up. But oh, no. I don't know. I don't know what color. What color are you talking about? One's like a little green, one's like a little red. That, that, the color stuff doesn't really matter. Oh. How does it feel? Is it firm or is it really soft? It's pretty firm. Okay, so they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Anywho, 
Yeah, yeah. whatever kind of apples these are. For my, my abs. Bomb. Um, your abs not going anywhere? I said, I said they're firm like my abs. They're firm yet like your abs, baby? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, Hunter is up really late. Well, really up late by his standards anyway. He's fighting asleep, so this is where he's at. Hmm. <laughs> He has started this thing where after about 5 30, 6 o'clock, he doesn't want to be held by anybody but me. Like, what is really going on? We're going to have to figure something out because. You know what's going on. What? What are you saying? You know what's going on. What's really going on, Josh? You tell me. Hunter loves his mama. So, this is what's going on. <laughs> Hunter does love his mama, but I'm going to need him to. Really, really love his daddy too. You know, well, he loves his daddy, but I'm gonna need him to want to be held or be talked to by you. That's what I need. What you doing? What you doing? Don't eat the baby. <laughs> the baby apple. You eat this piece? I was gonna eat it. Yeah, we, I, I, I said a piece of it. I a little piece which I might get the apple. And I said, let me go take a sample. And it, it's delicious, is it not? You know how to pick some fruit, man. No, it's good. Yeah. Anywho, so we just got finished with the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, if I'm being completely honest here, Hunter really don't, don't really don't like the sweet potatoes. He'll eat it, you know, but after about three or four spoonfuls, he's, he's over it. So I'm sure he's glad that these last four days have, have gone by and apples is up next. Anywho, Josh is about to cook dinner. We're gonna make a chicken stir fry over some rice, some Spanish rice. And yeah. I'm gonna hit the chicken and walk. Are you gonna do it in the walk? Walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Any it's real awesome. chef has a walk, from what I heard. I don't know. I don't know who said that. Because I ain't no real chef. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta, we gotta walk, though. We gotta walk, though. You know, but it's easy, but you know. Alright, let me bring out this. Uh, baby food maker. I would definitely encourage any mama out there who wants to try to make their own baby food to do it. It's super easy. And it's not truly time consuming. If you have like 15 minutes, 17 minutes, it'll be done and ready to eat. All prepared and stuff like that. So try it, try it, try it. Try it. But then of course you can put your leftovers in ice trays, freeze them when they're frozen, and then put them into block baggies and you have them for later on. So, uh, from the book, per the book that I'm reading or um, the cookbook that I bought, it lasts in the freezer for up to three months. Sometimes longer if you do the um, vacuum sealed storage. All right, fam, it is a new day. <laughs> But before I close out the vlog, I gotta tell you, oh, I'm feeding him apples from what I made yesterday. But I wanted to tell you that today is the first day that Hunter has sat up on his own for a extended amount of time. He has been learning to, what's the word? Uh, apples? Yummy. He's been sitting up on his own, but he would sit up for maybe like 10 seconds there, 15 seconds here and there. But today was the first time that he has sat up on his own for over two minutes. And you can tell that he's so proud of himself when he does it because he's smiling and he's like trying to balance himself with his hands and stuff like that. It is so adorable. I say this all the time, like I cannot believe he's getting so big so fast and growing and doing things that I never thought that the day would come. I mean, I knew it would come, but I just feel like it's happened all so fast. And now I understand when people say, they grow up so fast, cherish the first year because before you know it, they're gonna be walking and talking and getting on your nerves and talking back and slamming the door and all of that. <laughs> all of that. And it's happening. It's, it's just so crazy. But anywho, Josh is out front. He ended up getting some sod and he's putting some grass down. Um, the easy way because, you know, waiting for the grass to grow putting seed down we've been doing that but it's taking so long y'all so baby was like i'm getting off of work early today i'm going to get some sod because i saw it was on sale so i'm like hey if you're gonna do it boo 
do it. <laughs> you want some more apples? Open up. Yummy. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm signing out for this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. <laughs>